name is Mattis. Uh, I work as a consultant, also as an interim executive. I have my own companies. Meanwhile, I work with OKRs and strategy. In my work as a coach and consultant, I constantly um, touch those topics with my clients. I found out about Purdue, I think 2017, um, I met Henrik, and then for these years, um, I developed a sense of urgency to understand what's next after being an agile coach for years, and what is happening in those quarterly plannings, and why do we need that strategy, and how can I really execute a strategy so it becomes achievable into sprints and, and cycles. So I get to understand Purdue as it has been in 2017 and ever since um, observed and worked, helped uh, when I was a client to get the concept of OKRs in. And I found that quite fascinating how close it was from thinking about strategy, KPIs and OKRs back then also until today how it developed. Really. And it really suits me and my understanding of consulting and coaching to really change and really execute strategy. I think what changed is that I become more sensitive to the structure, to the chance to structureize really your thought of vision and mission and not that like you jump from vision and mission, you jump into a two weekly sprint, right? And so it's structurized really vision, mission, and then think about strategy, then have a chance to structurize these in strategic pillars. And then you think about the KPIs, how can we measure success for a longer time than just next month or the, just the next three months. And that was quite powerful. So also my learning journey within the last years, um, understanding those concepts and again, not only repeating, but um, in, in a way growing with this. As you could saw the um, really the, the growth of the product itself. The roadmap, I think, is the uh, the best feature to really grab attention. And when you open Purdue and you see the roadmap, and it's really filled with OKRs, it gives really a chance to understand what transparency can look like and awareness when it comes to the roadmap and their uh, hierarchy in it, right? So that's really, I think, the most powerful feature when it comes to grab attention and, and take it off from there. I think to really convince executives, uh, to really convince team leads, how impactful OKRs can be, that's an eye-opener, really. Like the visualization, like to visualize over a roadmap the OKR. So that is powerful, but of course, first you need to do the work, right? So to just have some OKRs floating around uh, that are really not making sense, you have the first attention with a roadmap, but if they look into it and they're not still valid OKRs, you don't go any further. So in my work with clients, when I work with OKRs and strategy, right, Peru always comes up. First, I heavily rely on that concept because it suits my other coaching experiences and my other ways of coaching uh, very well. And yes, of course, some of my clients implemented that tool, that very tool, because it's just suit, right? And it becomes uneasy once your strategy is written down, once your strategic pillars are clear, once the KPIs are there, it just makes sense to then jump on that tool and develop OKRs further on. So yeah, I would say a, a large portion of my clients use Purdue um, because it makes sense, right? So to work with a solution like Purdue helps me to visualize quite easily um, the ideas that I have that I want to bring that I talk about when I'm at the client. And again, for me in the past years had become mostly about what is strategy and how to derive from it, 
how to align departments. And this then becomes very handy. I mean, you guys know I work with a well-known uh, NBA team, right? The concept is the very same that you have in Purdue that I work with them on. I don't care which industry it is because the concept is almost the same, right? So what is the strategy? What are your competitors? What is your department? How you want to work with your employees? And how do you want to execute the strategy through over your company? And not only tomorrow and the next quarter, but really the, ex the next year and maybe the year after. So, and to give that transparency from the very beginning to the bottom, to all of employees, that's very powerful. So yeah, here you go. It helps me, and I think it will help me also in the future. Thank you. <laughs>